Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG on using the Perf Cut feature within Roland VersaWorks. The Perf Cut feature gives you the ability to create the full cut through the material that you are printing onto, which will be held in place by small tabs. First of all, we need to look at how to create the data to put into VersaWorks for this feature. For this example, we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see here we have the Roland VersaWorks swatches including the normal cut contour. We're going to create a new swatch called Perf Cut Contour which we're going to use in this example. So underneath the swatches tab if I make sure that I have any of the swatches selected just go to the drop down menu in the right hand corner and go to new swatch. Now the swatch name has to be as follows. Perf Cut Contour with a capital P and capital C's with no spaces. This is so that VersaWorks will recognize the information when exported. The color type, we need to change from a process color down to a spot color. And the color that we choose is just an on-screen representation for the information that we make. For this example, I'm going to create green. Now that I've created my swatch, you can see that it appears here in my swatches panel. Now we're going to create some data, some basic artwork that we can put into VersaWorks. So first of all I'm going to arrange my swatches so that the fill, I have no fill. For the stroke I'm going to use first of all the regular cut. Remember to change the stroke weight to 0 0.25 for optimum accuracy. For this example I'm just going to create a basic star So here we have what will be the inner cut of my artwork. Next, I'm going to copy this star. So control C, I'm going to paste it in place in front, control F. And now expand this to make it bigger. Now this outer star I'm going to apply the perf cut to. So instead of it having the cut contour stroke, I'm now going to select the swatch that I made called perf cut contour. Again, make sure that the stroke weight is 0 0.25 points. I now have two stars, one within the other. The outer star is going to be cut all the way through the material and the inner star is just going to be a kiss cut through the, outs through the first layer of the material. So if I save this to my desktop and I'm going to call it perf as an EPS, you can save it as an EPS or a PDF. We are now done creating our artwork and our spot within the artworking program. The next step will be to open this artwork into VersaWorks so we can change the settings for the perf cut. In VersaWorks now we're going to import the file that we just created. first thing that you'll notice when you import the job is that underneath the special items here we have the blue A that represents the normal cut and then we have another A next to that that has a box around it which when I hover my mouse over it says perforated cut so we can see that VersaWorks has recognized the information that we created. 
If I open up the job settings for this file now, here we can see the cut lines that are represented on screen. The inner cut line represented by a red dashed line and our new perf cut line around the outside represented by a grey dashed line. We can now set up the file as we would normally. Change the scale, anything else that we wish to change. I'm going to make this a specific size, so I'm going to say that I want the width to be 200 mil. If we skip down to the cut controls, you'll notice that we have a new box that has appeared here that says perforated cut controls. This box will only appear once you have created data using the perf cut contour spot color swatch. We can now change the settings for our perforated cut. So first of all, the inner cut line, the red swatch, will be created using the normal cut settings, which can either be set in VersaWorks here, using the Enable Advanced Settings feature, or on the machine manually within the menus. So I'm going to set the normal settings as I would after doing a test cut on the machine for this job. And now we're going to look at the perforated cut controls. So first of all we have the normal pressure length. This is the length of the tab that will hold the cut out shape to the material so that it doesn't move around within the machine. This is the normal pressure length as this will be cut at the normal pressure that you set on your machine. So the same cutting pressure that you would use for your inner star here. You can set any value from 0.1 millimeters up to 200 millimeters for the normal pressure length. I'm going to set mine at 0.3 millimeters. The perforated length is going to be the length that the machine will do a full cut through the material. Depending on your artwork, you may have to adjust this. And once again, the values can go from 0.1 up to 200 millimeters. I'm going to change this setting for this job to 20 millimeters. So every 20 millimeters, there will be a tab of 0.3 millimeters. Next, we have the perforation pressure. This is the pressure at which the blade will cut through the material for the perforated length. Now you may have to do some test cuts depending on your material to get the correct pressure here to cut through. I'm going to start off at 170 for this cut and try it to see if that will cut through the material. You could run a few test cuts at different pressures until you just cut through the material to get this reading. So when we run this job, we're going to have a cut that's going to go through our material, say our vinyl, and the backing sheet around the outside, and then a smaller cut just through the vinyl on the inside. And that's all you need to know on how to set up the perforated cut within VersaWorks. Keep watching for a small video of the cut in process. Thank you.